podcast, for those of us who aren't blessed with James's gift, there is a way to communicate with loved ones who've passed over. It's a process called automatic writing. And Dr. Shelley Stockwell, the author of Automatic Writing and Hyro Scripting, is here today to show us how it works. Everyone, please welcome to the show Shelley, Shelley Stockwell. Now, Shelley, can you explain, because I've never heard of this before, exactly what is automatic writing? It's a feeling that writing is almost writing itself. It feels automatic. And you can very easily contact loved ones on the other side if you just relax and ask permission to just let it flow. And some of you may have had that experience, just maybe you're writing a letter and it feels like it writes itself. Now, does this have anything to do with your sub subconscious? I think it does. Uh -huh. I think that we have a super conscious, let's call it that, a higher self that flows through us if we'll allow it. So anyone can do this? I think so. Let's find out. Well, okay. Before we find out, can I ask you a question? How do we know when doing automatic writing if it is indeed the spirit that's coming through or it's not your just subconscious mind? How do they know the difference? They'll feel it. They'll okay. sense it. Yeah. It will ha impact you in a kind of very gut level sort of way. Hmm. That's the best way. Nobody can tell you it's real or not. You have to decide for yourself. This will be an experiment. Okay, well, I'm eager to see how this thing works. Okay. We've given the audience some paper and pen. Those of you at home, you can follow along. Grab some paper, grab a pen, and get ready to do it. Shelly, step by step, tell us what we need to do. All right, very good. We'll start with a little meditation. We want to make sure this is for your highest good. So everybody take a deep breath. Let it out. Breathe, James. <sighs> Close your eyes for just a moment. We're asking today for a love letter from the other side, from a deceased loved one. So as you close your eyes for a moment, I'd like you to think about somebody you'd like to hear from, a specific person. And in a moment, we're going to program all of your cells with the automatic writing gene, the ability to let flow a message from a loved one from the other side. Now take another deep breath. And the rule is you're not to censor, let it out, edit, or judge, just relax. Now open your eyes, put the person's name at the top of the paper, and start writing a letter. Don't stop the flow. Don't worry if the writing is slow or fast. Don't worry if it makes sense. Don't censor. Don't analyze. Don't edit. Don't judge. Just start writing. Write, write, write. And just imagine they are writing you a love letter. Just let it flow, let it go, and don't be attached to how it comes out. That's the rule. And as you breathe, you might feel their energy. You could, might smell their smell. You might taste their taste. You might feel their being in your presence. And as you write, 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 you know that this is for your highest good. That's good. You're doing very, very well. Now take a deep breath, everybody. We didn't take too much time, but I'll bet you we have some messages out there. Okay. Anybody out there got a little message that you would be willing to share? Raise your hand. Anybody out there got a message from Come the on, other side? Come on, don't be shy. Come on, you guys. Yeah, there's we got right somebody up way up there in the back. Can you stand up for us? What's your name? Chris. Chris. Who'd you write yours to? Uh, my boyfriend, Rory. Okay, go ahead. And thank you for all that you did for me. I love you. Take care of yourself. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Yes. Hi, can you stand up for us? What's your name? Christina. Christina, who's yours too? My father. Okay, can you read it for us? Yes, he says, I love you very much. And I'm so proud of you. You're worth more. You're worth as much as anyone else. Oh, wow, beautiful. that's beautiful. Oh, that's wonderful. How does that feel to you, dear? It feels good because our family conflict, they're in conflict all the time. So it's like a positive. Congratulations. But have you always felt that way about your dad? Yes. So it, it, it still, Dr. Shelley, just feels to me like this is something she's always felt. Yes, and, and that may be true. And if she continued to do this as a little exercise and the people at home would do this every day for a couple of weeks, I promise you it'll just flow and you'll know you're getting messages and you'll feel it. My only too. problem with this, Shelley, is that I, you know, because of years and years of developing my ability, which I believe everybody has the ability to an extent, but I would find some of this is just their desire coming through to write that and it's not necessarily the spirit coming through. Yes. And I, being the Virgo self I am <laughs> and the skeptic that I am in my own way, I want to know, let them say something that that person didn't know perhaps, have to check something out. Or, yes. Because this could just be wishful thinking. Yes, it can be. You're absolutely right. And the, the proof of the, of the power of this comes with doing. It's one of those things that gets better with practice. I've had people who may automatic write for a week, half an hour a day, and nothing real happens, and then bang, 
they start getting a real flow of energy, a real great message, and they know it's real. Does and it matter please, if you use your left or your right hand? I'm sorry, we're running out of time real quick. You know, I've had people automatic write both right and left, simultaneously reverse writing one message one side, one message another side. I have one question for you. Yes. Has it ever happened where the person's writing and when they look down, it's the actual handwriting of the person that had yes, passed over? Yes, it has. It's happened many times. Really? And then I even had one lady who wrote everything backwards. You'd have to hold it up to a mirror to get the message, which I found very interesting. But the subconscious does think in reversal, so that might be the ex explanation. My, my evidence would be that if it's the handwriting of the person that passed over, that's all I that's would need. That's right. Right? And especially if it's a message that you message. wouldn't normally know. So that's know. really interesting exactly. to hear you say you need some evidence. Oh, yeah, of course. You have to. <laughs> and the best we'll evidence. talk about that later. You know? <laughs> Thank you so much. You Thank you, so Shelley, very much. Well, really, really interesting stuff.